Hey guys, I have quite a busy day today, so I thought I'd show you what a day in my life looks like. I usually wake up at about 6.30, which is apparently quite early for a college student because no one else is awake yet and I usually have the bathroom to myself. I wash up and I brush my teeth and then I change into a cute outfit to make me feel confident. <laughs> I never really dressed nicely in high school, but since I only brought nicer clothes to college, it's been a real treat. I then head downstairs to get my cup of tea and some breakfast. Since it is a really long day, I will be needing some caffeine in this tea. Um, I never really drank tea until last week, but now I'm obsessed because it's really good and I'm also putting this pretty cup to use. Here I have some eggs, a bagel, and some fruit, as well as my tea. Also check out this cute utensil set. Uh, it was such a good investment so I don't have to waste plastic silverware every time I eat in my room, which is very often due to COVID. It comes with a straw, fork, knife, spoon, chopsticks, and a straw cleaner. I got this off of Amazon. Then I'll do my devotions as I sip my tea and eat my breakfast in the morning. This is a super important time to me as I also go over what I need to get done for the day. Today's packed full of rehearsals and classes much more than usual. Around 8 or so, I'll head to the bus stop for Homewood. If I didn't have classes, I would practice in the morning since that's my prime time, but today I have just so much to do. And I'm realizing that it's midterm week, so that's why it's so busy. And we also have a concert tomorrow. So this is the Jimmy, which is the shuttle bus for the university. It's been pretty sunny here every day that I've been here, but today is really gray and rainy, which is not very characteristic, but I kind of like it. Although it seems depressing. <laughs> So this is Gilman Hall where I take my seminar class on Homewood and there's very few people in it and even less now that half the class was missing and our teacher had not yet arrived. Then I have to dash back to the Peabody campus so that I can make it to my conducting class at 10 a.m. I forgot to take a clip here so here's a clip of me practicing conducting. Next up I had a bit of time between conducting and lunch so I'm practicing piano here because I have a piano test at 1.30 today. Then I just quickly grabbed some lunch and then took that back up to my room to eat. Normally I will take a nap during my lunch time, but today I have chamber rehearsal during that time, so I don't have that luxury today. Hear me out you guys, power naps are the best. If I could take one every day, I totally would. But yeah, during lunch um, here, I've made a, a new resolution to try to listen through more symphony because I don't actually know that many besides the most famous ones. So here I'm watching the Berlin Phil. Our school has generously paid for all of our subscriptions. So I'm just watching the Berlin Phil listening while I eat my lunch. Next up, I am squeezing in a chamber rehearsal with my group before my piano test. Um, I really like them. We are we work really well together, and we're working on Haydn's Opus Number Twenty, Number Two, in C Major right now. Next up, I had my keyboard class, which I was practicing for earlier because we have a test today. So I was just warming up here and then I had to put my phone away. Phew, the test is over. I finally have that weight off my shoulder. Now I have a bit of time between that class and orchestra. We have an orchestra dress rehearsal today and it's going to be two and a half hours, which is longer than usual, so I am not practicing during this break. Here I'm just reading and relaxing instead, which is something that I actually really love doing. I love sitting in this comfy chair and just reading by the window. And now a dress rehearsal because we have a concert tomorrow and we're playing the New World Symphony. I'm so excited. Okay, so now it's 6 p.m. and I already feel like two days have gone by. I finally changed into my comfy sweatpants, put my hair up, and now I'm gonna get dinner.
And now for the part that we've all been waiting for. When do I practice? For how long? Yeah, me too. This is actually the latest I've started my practice since I got here because my day was just so packed with rehearsals and classes and all sorts of things. So it's an extraordinarily busy week. We have a concert tomorrow, midterms, yada yada. I missed my violin, so glad I can finally practice and spend some time one-on-one -on -one with her. So I promise I usually start earlier, like 9 a.m. Um, I usually get a session in by 11 a.m. at most, and I usually split my sessions up throughout the day so that I can get breaks. I should probably work on making my practice hour chunks smaller though, because right now they're kind of in like two hour time slots, but I've realized that the smaller I split the time up into, like for example, 10 minutes on an etude, 10 minutes on a scale, 10 minutes on this part of a concerto, I stay a lot more focused and I don't get overwhelmed by that huge span of time. So this is something that I really need to work on because I'm also on my phone too much and I get distracted. But anyways, I digress. Yay, I got a couple of hours in before my last event of the day. At 9pm, I had a meeting with the Peabody Christian group, and I totally forgot to film that, so here's some apple juice that our leader gave me instead. Shout out to Kelsey, thank you! Now it's about 10 p.m. and I'm getting one more hour in because I started so late. I usually don't really like to practice after 10 p.m., but I don't have a choice today. I am very behind. And finally, for the best part of the night, it is now about 11 p.m. and I get to relax and just do things that I need to for the next day. So I get to wind down about, uh, depending on when I get my work done, but today it was pretty late. It's 11 already. I change back into my pajamas and I turn on my fairy lights. I fill up my diffuser, as you can see here. I really like my lavender scent, especially for nighttime. It helps you sleep. But yeah, I do these things. I turn on my diffuser, my fairy lights, and my lamp, and it's just a good relaxing evening. Now is the time that I get to wind down and relax for the day, and then I get to prep for the next day. So I write down everything I need to get done, and then I write it in the order that I want to do it for the next day on my whiteboard. That is super handy. So planning my day the night before really helps me be productive right off the bat in the morning, so I don't have to wonder what I have to do that day. I just already know from last night's planning. When I'm done planning, when I'm done getting done any work I need to finish, I set up this really comfy pillow and I hop in bed and this is the time that I can either read, maybe I'll do some editing, catch up on some emails, and I will often journal during this time, sometimes in the morning, but I'll journal. And that is pretty much it for the night. Now this was just one day in my life. There are other aspects that I did not get to cover, like on weekends, I'll have church on the weekends and I usually play tennis at least once during the week if I can. It is super fun and a really great way for me to meet people as well as exercise. I also have studio class I didn't cover, ear training, music theory, exploring arts, other classes that I did not get to cover, but I did cover a lot in this video. So this is an average day in my life and I really hope that you enjoyed and that you learned something from this video maybe. So yeah, I'll just relax a little bit before bed get my last things done, and then finally it's lights out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video. Good night!